Eight days. Max capacity. There it goes. Moose! Moose! Thank you for leaving! I took the alt around all the blowdowns, so I wanted to do it again this year. And the river's pretty low. Looks good. Got a lot of food. Blowdowns would have sucked. Feeling pretty good today though. Weather's nice. It's just kind of chilly. Yeah man, about to get wet. I got fucking bluff charged by a grizzly bear. It was fucking nuts. I like walked out into this big burn area from like the forest and right to my left there was this like big creature and by the time I could figure out what it was it started running at me. And uh, I just started, whoa, whoa, what the, ah, oh, get out of here now. And uh, I ran right away. And uh, it just starts, it was just staring at me from like 50, 75 yards away. And I had to like figure out which way to go. <sighs> Fucking scary, man. I don't know what to really think. It was scary. I think I probably could have sprayed it if, I, if it like kept coming closer. It was maybe, dude, it was like 10, 10, 15 yards away, man. Bad situation. Now I'm really gonna be yo barren and and hollering. Don't want to experience that again. Whew. Yeah, the flip was really great so far. Glacier was so amazing. I went to East Glacier expecting everybody just like last year to be like, man, fuck the Rangers, fuck the snow. But everybody was like, yeah, it was really amazing. We had uh, good permits, and I hopped right on some friends' permits that I'd never met. Cook and maker. Oh my god, the blowdowns. I did 30 my first day at Aluna's. Did the alt around the blowdowns. It's like July 20th. Um, <clears throat> June 20th. June. June 20th. Doing the alt. And, uh, man, like, all the blowdowns are cleared. Even my buddy did. Did do the big, bad blowdown section, and they were only, like, two miles of it. Uh, and I did, like, a horrible five miles. And just this section, there's, like, a really big burn section. Uh, and there was absolutely no blowdowns, man. It was really fucking great. Yeah, I'm, like, uh, maybe ten or so miles from where I camped my third night uh, last year, so... Everything's going good, man. I camped in this little pine forest last year with a bunch of people. I camped like right there, I think. Somebody else was camping there. People camping over here. This was the day that it was raining really hard in the morning with a ton of blowdowns. Everything says that the blowdowns are cleared, though. This was just the worst blowdown hell before. Thank you for clearing it for your service. Listen to the last Ari Shafir skeptic tank. Yeah, bear. 
I stayed here last year with Couscous and Noise Complaint, and it took us four days to get here, and I'm here on my third day. And dude, the Bloodhounds are so infinitely better than they were last year. It was so, so bad, and uh, cruised right through. Did the Sun River all together, that's why I'm here. And uh, yeah, it's like 6.15, so I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, this is a long break. I'm gonna go. Jesus! Woo! That's big bear print. This lake was completely covered by snow last year. Basically nothing. Little patch. Yeah, this was all just a slog in snow. Here we go. I kind of wanted to go on top this year, but I would have had to go up like three, three, four miles ago. And there's like no snow down there. I brought my spikes just because I thought it would be more comfy with spikes. And I got to Glacier Lake. Big one. There's like no snow at all this year. Fuck yeah. Um, my pack's still super heavy from my eight day carry, but I'm on a really good pace, so should get there soon. Goodbye, Great Wall. You are a great time. It rained pretty good last night, but I have just been having the worst condensation I've ever had on trail. I mean, this is soaked. It's probably the bug perimeter netting that I put on. On the beak, too. Some bug netting underneath there. No airflow. Scapegoat! It's been threatening to rain all day. This is just the biggest burn area. It's so crazy. All day. There's the yurt. I barely didn't make it. I saw I was like 62 miles away from it like three days ago. I couldn't do it. So nice. Oh 
Uh, I'm in Lincoln. Just woke up. Super tired still. So. <laughs> it's up like 10 hours. I think I need a fucking zero, man. I would stay here again, but it's 70 bucks. It's just too much. It's like 150 miles to Anaconda, and they have a free like hiker hut. Yeah, last year when I did this, I got just super not into it feelings, and I quit, and I'm feeling a lot of that now, and uh, I don't know if it's just like Montana, it's tough to hike up here, or I don't know, man, I'm just going to keep pushing though, I've done so much of this trail already, I really just want to be a through hiker. And uh, I just gotta keep keep going.